Have you ever wondered what if else statements look like in an actual website setting? Today we're going to find out. Okay, we'll jump right in here to renaming the code pen and we'll just call it if then practice. So imagine with me that we built a website and in our navigation bar, we want to display the user's name if they're logged in and if they're not logged in, we'll show a login button. Okay, so there is our basic site. This is all set up for us to insert some JavaScript and uh, make that welcome thing happen. So right off the bat, I know that I'm going to need a variable that tracks if I'm logged in or not. So logged in by default will be false. Now we'll need an if then statement to say if we are logged in, then it should show the username and hide the login button. Else, we should hide the username and show the login button. So let's say if logged in, then we will say Um, let's see, document dot get element by ID welcome dot inner HTML equals welcome Dustin. All right. So first I'm going to need to go up here and add the ID to the paragraph, so welcome. And then I will, sorry, and then I will need to change this to true. And there you have it, it says welcome Dustin. So if logged in is true, we do see that that works. Else, because we know that either I'm logged in or I'm not logged in, I don't need to say else if logged not logged in, right? That's not going to do anything for me, so I can I can just say else and say document dot get element by id welcome dot inner html equals welcome. Okay, so right now. It does just say welcome. If I change it, we see welcome Dustin. False, welcome. So we can see here that because logged in is false, it's just saying welcome. Does that make sense? Okay. Now beyond that, we can make the button appear or disappear based on whether or not I'm logged in. So I can say, document dot get element by ID login dot inner HTML and we'll actually change this to just say log out if I'm logged in okay so let's first add that ID up here and we'll add the ID of login Oh, sorry, ID equals login. Okay, bring this back up here. And now if I have this as true, it now says log out. It also shows welcome Dustin. And then I can make it false again and just welcome and, and log in. Okay, now we're going to need to add the, the opposite down here again and say document dot get element 
by ID login dot inner HTML equals log in. Okay. Perfect. So now I need a way to test this a little bit better to figure out am I logged in or am I logged out um, and change that dynamically. So by clicking the button, I should be logging in or logging out instead of having to change it right here in my JavaScript. So we'll say document dot get element by ID login dot add event listener click function and inside of here we'll say what we want our function to do so if we're logged in then logged in equals false so if we're already logged in it will log us out else logged in equals true so that's saying if we're not logged in then it will log us in okay and let's, something's not working here, so let's do a console.log and we'll say logged out and console.log logged in. This will help us see, sorry, I forgot the semicolon. This will help us see if it's logging anything at all, and it is, okay, good. What it's not doing is firing this if else every time that we click. So what we want to do is take all of this logic that's uh, checking if we're logged in or logged out and, and putting the right thing in there, and we will actually add this logic into our click handler down here. So let's get rid of our console logs because we know that that's working now. It's gonna be a little bit backwards here because what's happening is we're setting logged into true down here. So I'm going to put that first block of code down here because else, meaning if we weren't already logged in, then we just clicked login, so we will be logged in. So we'll put welcome Dustin and change it to log out, right? So boom, that worked, but the second part doesn't work yet. So let's take this second block of code, put it right down in here, okay, and get rid of all that boom so this should all work now I know it's difficult to see my code right here let's make it a little prettier <laughs> so let's go over this one more time this should be indented that should be indented sorry for all the craziness with let's just do this a little bit so you can see a little bit better what's actually happening here. Okay, so looking at the code, all in all, we're setting that we are, by default, not logged in, okay? If we do click log in, then we're clicking this button, log in, and if already logged in, then it'll log us out, so we'll see log in and welcome. Else, so if, we are not already logged in, it will log us in, and it will say, welcome Dustin, log out. So the button changes to log out, and let's see if this all works now. Log in, log out. And using if then, we essentially have built a login, log out system that is super janky, but you get the idea. These are the types of logic that we would use in an actual scenario. We'll get more complex as it goes, but for right now, that is the basics of it. Um, yeah, feel free to implement this now in any way that your mind can think of. I really enjoy teaching you guys these small building blocks because as, it, as you learn it, it will unlock logic in your brain of things that you can do uh, you know, as you're building your own website. So have your own website in mind and just keep following along. Make sure to click that like button if you enjoyed the video, comment with any questions you might have, and subscribe for future videos.